cool is unteachable. I mean, you could give someone the ingredients of cool, but actually teaching them that, nah, it don't work like that. Two individuals could have the same shit on, talk about the same shit, but they not gonna walk the same and talk it the same. Yeah, you may be able to speak it on a college level or a textbook level, but that does not make you cool. That shit just make you a translator. You translating to those that may not be cool, to those who don't understand the slang. You know, you got people that are frown upon the way we talk, the way we walk. But for us, it's proper. That's our textbook. The textbook of Ebonics. We are not the same. Yo, how can we be the same when you didn't even come from what I come from? Been through what I've been through. Shit, you probably wasn't even outside to look at it, to see it happen. I got a new name for shit like that, man. It's called the Wikipedia Media. The Wikipedia Media. Yeah, the new G unit. The Google unit. Yo, Google will fool you. Everything ain't on Google. Everything is not on Wikipedia. Yo, how Hove said, this is food for thought. You do the dishes. Yo, today we got the man behind the camera. All that good footage you get to see from all the events, the editing, the good music, all that camcorder work that come from yours truly right here. This is Rivers, yo. Hey, it's good. It was good. Same old shit. Yeah. We got hey. Rivers on the other side of the water today. Facts. It's crazy because literally all behind me is like where I chilled out all my life. Like this is literally where I grew up. Yeah, oh, I mean it was so close. He ain't even. He just facts. walked across the bridge. He just walked across the bridge, and it only took like thirty minutes. So I, that's why I could see now why like you were always in New York because yes, yeah, it's, it's mad close. Yeah, it's facts. mad close. Like, I mean, like for us young riding a bike to New York, it was a. But you know, when you young, you fucking adventurous. Yeah, yeah. So on a bike, it might have took us like forty five minutes an hour. But you know, like being 12, 13, that shit ain't really about nothing. You be outside yeah. all fucking day anyway. And when you in a group, an hour feel like 15, 20 minutes when y'all doing wild shit in the mix of getting over there. Facts. But on the bus, that shit be mad quick. Or in the car, it's 10, 15 minutes. Like from my crib to here, I was here in like seven minutes. I was shocked you got here that fast. Nah, yeah, I feel like I only took that long because of the heat. Yeah, that's a fact. I would have made it faster. Because I went to that, what's that seafood place? Shit, oh, yeah, the boil seafood, right yeah. there. By that, shit was, yeah, shit. that shit was valid. Yeah. But, yeah, man. I can see why a lot of niggas in Jersey was getting money crossing this bridge. Yeah, it was that, it's that easy. And, um, you know, besides that, right, when it comes to New York and New Jersey, all the niggas that get money in New York, and Jersey. take it to the yeah. next level, move to Jersey yeah, so their kids can have a better life. So depending on what the kids was into, it was easy for us to group up. Like, you know how many kids I met from the Heights that moved to Jersey? Like, you see my crib. Like, yeah. they lived on my block. We went to school together. And then the niggas would be like, yo, I'm going back to my block after school. I fucks with you. Come to my block. Next yeah. thing you know, you up there, you chilling, you meeting bitches from New York. Yeah. You, they introducing you to other stores you don't know I and feel, vice yeah. versa with Jersey. I feel like people don't really realize how close it is. Nah, they don't because they think about, like, the other parts of Jersey, like... Yeah, like like the Sopranos. Yeah, yeah like Broadway and all that shit. Yeah. North is not that close, but it's close, too. It depends on where you come into, like, downtown, Holland Tunnel, all that shit. Yeah. Be easy for North people to get to and shit yeah. like uptown it might be like a 45 minute ride for them so whereas it's like man yo we'll get into it yeah. but yo i wanted to ask you like what made you pick up the camera like like what got you into that well i can't even lie like i always been in the, the video shit but them cameras be expensive as fuck so it's like and i'm already into the 90s shit, so i'm like yo let me get a vhs shit Cause it'd be like on eBay, it'd be like old people just selling like like a garage sale. Feel me? Yeah. So I was like, ah, right, let me see how it is. And 
the person that put the battery on my back, yo, shout out to Andre on cut. Because he always done the cra crazy videos. And I'm like, yo, like, he always got the baddest bitches, like, in the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, yo, this, I could, you know. Yeah, you can make it happen. Yeah, so then I started, like, watching old, like, videos and shit. And then that's really what put, made me pop a VHS camera. Nah, that's fire. That's OD fire. Yeah. And, and yeah. like, as far back as you remember, like, how long, how, how, like, when was your infatuation with like the 90s culture when did it start taking off i can't even like fifth grade bro fifth grade like fifth grade i used to listen i just was never into like the music now like you know what i mean yeah 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 me personally i know everybody with my friends was yeah but i never really i never got in tune with that type of sound yeah and like i remember fifth grade i loved the break dance and shit and then i'm like nah this shit is like kind of too old and I'm <laughs> yeah the 90s shit and i'm like oh shit and i remember like I tried to dress like that at the time, but I didn't really have the bread or like yeah, the yeah, yeah. knowledge. Yeah. But I, I can't even lie. I was like, not even to sound like uh, like on some hypey shit, but I, like you see how now Carhartt is mad cool. Yeah. I came into school like seven. I bought my first, my mom's bought me my first Carhartt jacket for winter. Like I was like, yo, mom, it's cold. I need a Carhartt jacket. So I went to school. Everybody was cutting my eyes. Oh, you a construction worker? This I was rocking Carhartt. Yeah. Bro, now same niggas is hitting me up. Yo, bro, same where you thing. Get this? Where you get that at, bro? Yeah. It's like now, nah, bro. Yeah. I was just. You was ahead of your time with yeah. it. Yeah. Like niggas used to try to cut my ass and shit, but now they want to dress like me. So it's like it's kind of funny actually. Nah, it is. I went through that um in high school, like the Woolrich era with the snorkel. Yeah. I got it from older guys and the street guys was outside wearing it, but in school, people wasn't wearing it. Yeah. So it was like, all right, I had the North Face first before everybody, before the Nupsy wave took off in school. I was the first one with it because I was I was outside with older people. Yeah. So when I came to school with the with the Woolrich, the next year, like niggas was like, yo, niggas is, is bugging on your coat. And then the following year, niggas got the fat farm or the yeah, rocker yeah. where they ain't get the Woolrich shit. Yeah. And then down the line, like, look now. I think I paid two hundred for the Woolrich. That shit's like that shit's a six hundred to nine hundred dollar jacket now. Yeah, I remember people used to tell me that like you meant the Prada American Cups. They was yeah. like two hundred back then. That's a fact. Like six hundred. That's a fact. So I don't know. That's another thing too. Like that Prada shit took off nine eight nine nine. Yeah. Philly niggas was on it big. Like Gilly the Kid and them, they was rocking Prada and talking Prada shit early. Like. You had to go to Neiman Marcus to get Prada. Yeah. Or Saks. You know what I mean? That's why I only had all black. My girlfriend at the time had gray suede. Other girls had blue. Like, now that shit was serious. Prada had his, definitely had his runs. I don't know how to say it, but in your day, what what's some shit you've seen that would be like world star Instagram viral? But uh -huh. nobody had like phones back then. Oh, man. Some just what you want to know fashion just violent shit just some crazy uh, shit like. I want to say what it definitely went like viral would be like the teen parties at the skating rink when video music box Ralph McDaniels would come there and like what, what was so prolific about video music box Ralph McDaniels would really be like in the crowd amongst you, right? Yeah. And he's coming up to you. Imagine you being 14, 15. You got that shit on, and he come up to you and be like, yo, where you from? Hold a mic and be like, yo, who you want to give a shout-out to? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, we used to watch that shit the week after to see if our shout-outs made it to the show. Like, a couple girls from, from my building and shit, they made it. They would shout-out the building and the address and shit like yeah. that. That's one thing that would have went viral. Um, what about some violent shit? Like, oh, man, I'm, um, so you know how they got New York Sports Club and LA Fitness and shit like that. One of the big shits was Spa Lady back then, right? So some people would be able to rent Spa Lady to have parties. Shit. So they'll take the exercise equipment out and shit like that. This is, I wasn't even in high school yet. This is 92-ish or 
yeah, it was it was exactly the win in a ninety two because I wasn't in high school yet, right? So we army fatigue down, army coats, uh, Columbia bugaboos, flight coat shit like that, right? So spa lady had a party, niggas is in there, and at that time, like as kids, we wasn't your average kids. A lot of us, we was like older, so. You in a party for me, I'm 13 at the time, right? Everybody else is between, yeah, about the same age, 13 to 19, maybe 20. I feel like y'all was different though at that age. That yeah, we thought we, thought we yeah. was 20. The 20 year old niggas fuck with us because yeah. we was like, I wasn't super wild with it. Like I was just yeah. cool. I wanted to be fly. I wanted to fuck with the bitches, but a lot of my peers was wild, right? So we all had a party and shit. And the kid from another town coming there, he got on a green flight coat, zipper pocket. We shooting dice in the back of the party. And he on some shit like, yo, he was drunk. He came with three bitches and one, one guy, right? And he like, yo, like, you know, dice talk is dice talk. So it gets nasty. He like, yo, what's what's in the bank? I start, you broke niggas out of the bank, stop. So he dig in his pocket, right? He pull out a knot like this. So I'm already paying attention. Like he he not he's bent. The girls is laughing. His man kind of paying attention, but he outnumbered. So I see niggas from my hood whispering to each other, right? And you know, the older niggas put the battery in the young niggas back, right? One older nigga rock this shit. Boom. So all the young niggas ain't even concerned about the money. They just jumping the nigga, hitting the nigga with shit. Yo, the nigga eye came out the socket, his eyeball hanging. Oh shit. Yo, the nigga that snuffed him, we ain't even see him no more. He took the money and bounced already. So that was definitely some wild shit. Um another one was like um, you know, it, it was the women's club, it was another spot across the street from the middle school. It was a party there. Niggas rode up in the car. Nigga jumps up, kicks the window out. <laughs> right? He got on 40 balloons, kicked the window in. This is when Onyx throw your guns is at its height. Yeah, I feel like y'all was crazy. Y'all was going bald by choice. Like, yeah, now nah, that's a fact. Shit like that. That's a fact. Niggas that have hair and just dead ass get the baldy. The, the hood definitely had the. Now a nigga like me is just naturally yeah. bald. But yeah, we would go bald by choice. Like it wasn't about having hair just because you got a hairline. Like, niggas would be bald, then niggas have a fro, niggas have braids, niggas had their hair like you, like, all of that was going on. But I right, boom, we in the heat of the onyx shit, right? Boom, he kicks the window out. When he kicks the window, he kicks the kid, right? I'm going to post the article up in this shit, too, because I got the article from that night. Boom. They speed off there in, like, a little Volkswagen. We go in the party. Niggas party. But you know our towns are so close to Tritown, Hackensack, Teaneck, Inglewood that nine times out of ten it was going to be a fight when we all in a party together because everybody don't get along. Yeah. Soon as throw your guns, come on. Niggas start fighting. They in the party. <laughs> right? It's like two in the morning. This is the same year, too, that I'm talking about. Yo, it had snow. So back then it used to snow different and be like OD cold. It wasn't no global warming shit going on. We walking up from the women's club, right? So it's two set of buildings. My building is uptown. The other building is downtown, but we all know each other. So it's uptown and downtown kids walking together. Yo, bro, we get up to the corner. I get in the building. I just hear the shots go off. I'm like, oh, shit. I just go in the house. I don't pay no mind and shit. Mind you, like, back then, it was normal for a kid 13 to be outside 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Next day, I come outside. Niggas is like, yo, niggas lit the corner up. Like, when you went in, they shot at us. So I'm like, who shot? They like, yo, the same niggas who got their window kicked out at the party. Them niggas went and got the strap. They end up getting caught Um, this article show. Like, one kid was from Patterson. Another kid was from somewhere else. And the kid was from Teaneck. They all went to the uh, juvenile shit, the youth house. Yeah. But, like, 
yeah, shit was shit was wild. It wasn't like back in the day, like I, I mean, like now where niggas would just shoot for no reason. You had your instances though, when like Patterson kids grew up different. Like they they gunplay was more serious than than ours. Like we had little instances here and there. It kicked up as we got older, but like that it that age that era was more like niggas just fighting. Yeah. Getting jumped. You know, you know what I think the difference is now? I feel like if you fight my generation, everyone got their phone now. So like even if you win ten fights and someone films the fight you lose, they're going Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like that's why people be killed like yeah. killing people more because like yeah, they, they probably don't they, be they, fucked they up. It's hard. my generation, I feel like it's hard for them to take it out. Like they don't know how to lose. You know Yo, what I mean? I, I wouldn't even put that on your generation. I'll just put that on the times of right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. The phone times because um because I've seen people hands work crazy. They just lose one fight, and now everybody think they can't fight because they lost one fight. Yeah, that's so, that's right now. We just in the era of you will get canceled fast. Like, yeah. like it's really like like niggas' feelings is soft when it comes to a lot of shit. Like, yo, I grew up in the height of the crack era. You know, not having fly shit coming to school. You know what I mean? Niggas would bug on them and be like, "Yo, your mom's a crackhead." I seen your mom. Giving head in the hallway. We used to call them doolies and shit. They like, yeah, your mom was giving a dooley. Like, you really had to have tough skin. That shit caused a lot of fights. But even having fly shit, if you didn't have the latest shit, you would get bugged on. Or, or like a nigga be like, yo, you still got sixes on the sevens is out. Like, what you doing? Like, that's just like it was very, very competitive. And we didn't take it to heart like how people would take it to heart now. Like people that cancel shit is serious, and I think it's whack in the sense of like, yo, we we're not all the same. We didn't all come up the same. Like, how could somebody that didn't come up and been through what I've been through been the same as me because we wear the same shit? That don't even add up. Like, yeah, we got the same shit on, but you're not going to wear it like me or you can't speak it like me. You can't express the same things as me. You know what I mean? Like, cool is something that can't be taught. That's true, yeah. Like, like you could give people the ingredients. That's like, that's like that's, food. That's, that's right now, the TikTok fashion. Yeah. Where everybody be wearing the same shit. Yeah, like that but get dressed with me. Yo, did you see that video with a kid <laughs> where he was like, yo, um... This shit was paid in full expi- inspired. And then it's like a jersey and then George. Nah, yo, he got on a fucking Fila Velour jacket, little ass Adidas shorts. Um, uh, Wait, Fila and Adidas? Yeah. Yo, he got on loafers and white socks though with it. What? I had I like. Be, I be seeing videos on Instagram be like, let's dress 90s. And they just throw on a football jersey and shorts and like some Jordan ones. And it'd be like, it's 90s. And I'm like, yo, yo that's. It's like, t- bro, there's different eras, the different flies. Let me like, tell you, that's not even 90s shit. Jordan 1s was out in the 90s, right? 94, we got the first retro. Nobody really gave a fuck about them. Certain people had them, and it was just like, they was on sale for so cheap. It was like, yo, if you only had $40, $50 as a kid, you're going to get it. Yeah. Because you got a fresh sneaker on, yeah. and it looked good. But as far as, like... Being a shoe that everybody wanted again, it was like, nah, we don't give a fuck. Like, even early 2000s, the Jordan 1 craze wasn't crazy like how it got once Kanye and Hovind and I remember I used to wear Kobe's, bro. I used to wear Foot Locker with my mom. She'd be like, like, I used to poop and shit. And, like, Kobe's was the cheapest shit. Now it's, yeah. now it's like I can't even, I'm not even looking for a Kobe. Right yeah, now. yeah, it's, it's, it's like all Like, used to sit in Foot Locker. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, that whole 90s shit, like, I don't know, man. People really need to do their homework with that shit. That's what I feel about that shit, bro. It's just so many. I feel like it's just so many, like, them 10 years, like, from, like, 90 to 2000. I feel like it's, it's too many so things many, you could yeah. do. Let me let me break it down for you, right? When 90s started, right, this is the easiest way for everybody else because you're a little, you way more seasoned than the average kid your age with. As far as knowing 90s shit, 1990, Jordan 5, right? Niggas was still wearing flat tops. You know what I mean? Big chains was was still a thing. Like, the gold rope was starting to go out of style, and the Gucci link was coming into play. 
and shit like that, right? That's 90, 91, same shit, flat tops, shit is starting to transition. You hit 92, flat tops is gone. You got an afro or you got a baldy. Army shit is in abundance. Heavy boots, shit like that. Every Like the onyx wave is, is in effect, you know what I mean? And in the mix of that, as you going into that, you also are crossing over into cross color, call Kanai, loud color jeans to go with your sneakers and shit like that. Nine four? Well, nah. You still in the mix of that? You got Grand Puba too. So now the hill figure shit yeah. is taking off. The uh Negro League shit. Shout out the Splurge. Yeah. We both rocking the hat. You know what I mean? That that started taking off. So. It's so many different ways of the 90s. And look, we ain't even and get the, to the mid-90s polo, yet. The polo shit. Yeah, polo was, shit. How the, was polo big in Jersey as it was in New York or not really? Fuck yeah, but it all depend on who you were. It was clicks. It was clicks just like um, you had to be getting money or you had to be seasoned to really fuck with that shit. Everybody wasn't able to get it because that shit was out of people's bracket. You know what I mean? Like, I had some shit, but I didn't have a lot of shit. Like, for me, when it took off middle school, real or real puba shit, like, a lot of the motherfuckers that had it was kids that parents were super young, or their parents was getting money, or they jumped off the porch and was hustling early. Like, I know one kid, for instance, right? This nigga had everything, bro. But he was short, and his foot size was small, but his mom was young. He came from New York to the t to our yeah. town, right? Like when that Andre Agassi shit came out, that nigga had the Agassiz with the Agassi polo with the Agassi shorts. Then he'll come outside, he'll have a hill figure on Jabo shorts and New Jordans. But he's shopping in the kids section of Macy. But also his mom is young. She's fucking with niggas that's hustling. So she understood. Some of our parents was older and then a lot of us didn't even grow up with our parents because our parents was addicted to drugs. So we're with our grandparents and grandparents is like, I'm not buying you that expensive shit. Facts. And you got to think, bro, to get a pair of Jordans, right? If you, I right, let's say you're a kid size, $80, right? You get a kid's hill figure, $40, $50, right? Jabo shorts, $50. What's that? Damn near 300 Rent was 800 You damn near asking your mom for half of the rent money to get a fit. You know what I mean? That's why income tax, Easter, birthdays, and Christmas meant so much to hood kids or going back to school or the first of the month. Welfare time. You know what I mean? That's when your parents, your family is going to have the most money at the beginning of the month or income tax time. You know what I mean? Like, that was real hood shit. And then that goes into why we're not all the same. Because a lot of people that's curating now don't come from that. Didn't witness that. Didn't live that shit in real time I, to understand yeah. it. I feel like it's I feel like it makes you enjoy clothes more when you on a budget. Like that, that and, makes like, you more I, creative. Yeah, like you gotta work with what you got. Like me, I was a I'm, I'm not saying I was like the poorest child, but yeah, me Christmas, neither. Christmas and my birthday was the times where I'm like, all right, this is where I'm going to get flogged. You know you was going to get yeah, the most shit. my birthday's in April, so it's like, I got to get shit for the summer. Yeah, and I got I to make I gotta make it work all the way till when the beginning yeah. of the school year. See, for me, my shit is twisted because yeah. it's like, well, no, nah, not in a sense. It's a gift and a curse because September's back to school. I'm going to get fresh. My birthday, November, November yeah. I'm going to add on to it. Yeah. December yeah. is Christmas. Yeah. I'm going to add on. Yeah. Then you got income tax January. Yeah. Then it's like, damn, I got to coast gotta, to Easter yeah. to get some shit. Yeah. But my mom wasn't even, didn't even play it. Like, she wouldn't get me, I don't know, she just wouldn't get me to flash. Like, I wanted to flash it. Like, I remember, like, so much shit came out. I was a pose child type shit. Or, like, like yeah. take me to pose or target. Like, so when I was younger, but then when I started, like, growing up, being outside more, I was like, ah, yeah, I'm not going, yo, mom, I'm not going to Macy no more. Not Macy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to Target no more and getting this shit. So for us, like, you know how Century 21 became a thing? Yeah. We didn't have that in Jersey till later on, but we had Filene's Basement. We had, um, But y'all had Mom that pops those too. That's the... Yeah. You know, bargain be like, yo, yo, 
yeah. you get two and get like thirty dollars off. Not even just that. You go, you gonna have layaway. Yeah, like and getting fresh didn't always mean you had to have upscale shit. Like you could get a champion sweatsuit, you could get a Russell sweatsuit where the color of your sweatsuit is matching your kicks. What's your favorite shoe model? Like are you growing up, just the most the shoe that gave you the most memories, like your first shoe or like the first Nike or whatever. All right, I'm gonna break it down differently. Um, I grew up having Nikes before I even knew I was like yeah. what a fucking Nike was. Like I was in kindergarten in Jordan ones and shit like that because of my father and my older brother. But for me, kicking my first sneaker, '88 white cement threes. I wanted black. Black was sold out everywhere that my mom would take me in my size. So my mom didn't like driving to New York. Like, a lot of Jersey people don't like it. They say New York people drive too reckless. Yeah. So we went from my town to Patterson to Pasig, everything in between. Matter of fact, we went my town, Pasig, to Patterson. When we got to Patterson, she was like, yo, that's enough. I'm not going nowhere else. They don't got the black shits. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to get the white ones. So I got the white cement threes. That's a memorable moment for me. But... My favorite sneaker is a tie between the Bo Jackson and the Jordan 5, 1990. And those was two sneakers that I couldn't get in 90. You know what I mean? Like, I remember it vividly. Um, I got a picture, too, summer of 90. I'm on a go-kart and shit. I'm in Maryland visiting my, my uncle with my pops. I got on some forces. I think uh, Air Assault Force, some shit like that. Yeah. It was so many forces out. I don't know exactly which one. They was black and white, right? They was fresh. I had those. I had fucking um, Red Etonics because Etonics was a hood classic. Uh, mad different colors. I had the red shits. We went to the mall. I seen the Great Fives. My man had the black suede shits. And he had the bows with the 34 in the back. This is somebody that was older than me, but we looked, we watched this shit growing up. And... He had that shit. I wanted both of them shits. The hood was going quick. Like the Bo Jackson was equivalent to what a Air Max 95 done to the hood, a Jordan 1 did to the hood. All of that shit that's hype now, the Bo Jackson did that in 90, and a lot of them motherfuckers did whatever to get one of them sneakers. You think the retro was good or no? The first retros was good, like 99. So that's why, like, 99, when I was 18, 19, I lost my fucking mind because it was a lot of sneakers that I had or I didn't get to have that retro. Yeah. The Bo Jackson being one. The Jordan 4, I had 89. You know what I mean? But I got it again as soon as it dropped. Yeah. 99. The Bo Jackson. 99. <laughs> like, all that shit that I didn't have, I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm getting it now. It's like the second childhood. The retro now... It's not so good, but that sneaker holds such a big place in my heart. It's not bad, but it's not what it should be. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I still get it. And also, I you came from the crack era. Do you think all these brands would have been as making as much money if crack didn't exist? You know what I mean? Like, um, Vegas was getting so much money. You think they would have done as good? You know nah, what I mean? You know what I'm, I'm trying to say? Nah, back then, um. It really all depends on when. So, if you're talking 80s, going into like 90, nah. Nah, they wouldn't have did. They they wouldn't have. If, if it was for the streets, yeah. But by the time Yo! MTV Raps came out, because Video Music Box was only for our era, area, pardon me. So if you wasn't in the tri-state area, you don't know what the fuck Video Music Box is. A lot of people still don't know. They know now because of the documentary Nas put out, or you can YouTube it. But if you was you don't under, like, when I ask that question on the page, like, what's more monumental to you? A lot of people say Yo! MTV Raps and Rap Cities because it was a global thing. So if you're talking about during those times, you know what I mean? Carl Kanai and Cross Colors and shit really took off because of that. And let's not forget, the magazine helped a lot of them brands. The Source, uh, Rap Pages, 
Yo Magazine. Like, shit like that really helped shit take off. Yeah, I never really read magazines. I always had a, a phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really... yeah. You, came, you came up in that area yeah, when it was, was out. Like, for us, it was like magazine, poster on the wall, video music box. And what was so fire about video music box, you didn't have to have cable to watch it. Shit. You know what I mean? And and shit. I'm going to keep it a buck. I only had cable because my father was the ultimate hustling nigga. He knew, like, not on no street shit, but, like, his mentality was hustle. He always kept lucrative hustles, or he knew people that did black market shit. So we had yeah. bootleg cable. He'll, like, a nigga might be paying for cable in the building. He'll approach the cable man and be like, yo, I got $70. Hook my cable up. And them niggas be like, what? 370 bet. I can't lie, my 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 favorite shoe of all time. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the photo, but the uh the oh, Air wow. GT Max. Yeah, yeah, Max, yeah. Six, you really? cop those? They they no. just drop. They I know, but I ain't, I ain't really I ain't really feel them. Yeah. But basically, I grew up on Dykeman for a little bit. Yeah. And they have mad like Dominican like shoe stores. And my mom, I just want, I asked, I just wanted Nikes because I went to school. Where everybody had the Nike. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Oh, please let me get. And I was with my grandma. I went to this, st- and it had the, you know, you know, it has the tiger stripes. So I asked, so I'm like, yo, please, can I get these? And at the time, she, you know, it was expensive for her, so she, she got them, bro. I wore them shits every day. I was, I was, <laughs> I was like in fourth grade. I wore them shits every day, like every day. Yeah. Until like the fucking, I remember one day in school, the fucking, uh. The air bubble popped because I wore them so much. But that's why it's so, like... Yeah, it creates memories. creates memories for you. That's a fact. Because that was my first real, like, Nike shoe. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. Like, in my town, I grew up in one of the notorious... Shit, the, one of the most notorious block out for Uptown. It is the most notorious block. You know what I mean? Like, everything happened there every time. Damn near everybody that got murdered in that area got murdered on my block. My building is the first building in my area where niggas started selling crack at. Like, I grew up in that area, so it was like poverty. For It was poverty for the town. Yeah. But my mom ain't get high. So, you know what I mean? And she was a teacher. She taught all the kids in the hood. I was one of the fortunate kids growing up in that area to where I had shit. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It was kids that had a lot, a lot of shit. But I can't never say that I didn't have shit or like, like I grew up fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't, can't, yeah. I can't sit here and say like I was on some ghost face. All I got is you plucking roaches right. out yeah. the cereal yeah. shit. Yeah, I can't say that either. You know what I mean? Nah, like, like, yeah, yeah I was, was on the, my, my mom's on a budget. So. Yeah, that's, that's how it was, yeah. bro. Like, these it kids today. It appreciate shit more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I really wear my suit every day. Even yeah. though I fucked them up. Yeah. I, I was also proud to wear them. Yo, and that's another thing. These kids today don't understand how lucky they are yeah. to have as much as they have. And that's really because their parents is from my era or an era right after mine, which is privileged generations or... Yeah. Like, like the sneaker generations, you know what I mean? That's like if I had a seed right now, nigga, my kid would be spoiled. Yeah. Because it's like I'm going to want my kid to look a certain way. And you know what I mean? Have shit yeah. that I had and then have more than I had. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, I was I was like in sixth, seventh grade when the, the Yeezy shit, the, when that was, the Yeezy was crazy. I remember, that sounds I remember crazy. Kids, I remember kids coming in with Yeezys, bro. And I'm like, yo, how much you spend on them? 230. I'm like, yo. Yeah. So never even thinking about asking my mom or dad that was crazy. So yeah. yo, just imagine my era. Asking for a hundred yeah. was a lot of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then like that mob deep song, peer pressure, that's real shit. Like, you know what I mean? To get accepted by my peers. So now I'm sitting on beers, buying new gear, nothing but the guests. Forget Levi, strictly polo and guests. Yo, I remember I came to school one day, I ain't do my laundry and I wore Levi's. Yo, one of the flyest bitches in school, I was cool with her, was like, yo, my nigga, don't never let me see you wear those again. They was calling them dun dun duns Like the <laughs> yo, and it was silver tabs, which was the, the yeah. most expensive Levi's at the time. She's like, yo, my nigga, we're not doing that no more. Yeah. 
And I was like, yo, I ain't get mad or be taken like she tried to play me out like today. Like how motherfuckers would be like, like fucking on some cancel culture shit. I took it as motivation. Like, yeah, it's over. I'm not doing that. Like, you got to like, if you into that and you in that lifestyle, you got to keep up with what's going on. That's you know. Yeah, that's why I started fuck with the 90s shit. Because one, shout out to eBay. That shit. Yeah, it'd be eBay. a lot of stupid. I can't even lie. Please stay on eBay to stupid people that don't know what they selling. Yeah. So I got a lot of shit for cheap, and they even know what they were selling. Yeah. But the thing it was, since it's nine, nobody wants the shit they really got. So it's like, I could get fly, and I stand. The difference is, I stand yeah, out. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. You're I'm not, not looking, looking like I'm a not wearing copy. The purple jeans. So I'm I'm coming in. Everybody know me. I wear the baggies. Yeah. Everybody, every, out of all my friend groups, I wear all the baggy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's your style. You yeah, just, you yeah. just into what you into. I think I always chill with like older niggas, and they used to talk about because I used to write rap and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I kept hearing Gore-Tex, uh, Carhartt, and like Army Fatigue. And I'm like, yo, what the, f- what is a Gore-Tex? Yeah. I didn't even know. I was, I was in like seventh, eighth grade. That's when I started like getting. Yeah. I'm like, yo. yo, what is Gore-Tex? What is North, like Northeast? Like that, that's it. At Yo, the time, bro. Nobody really rocked North. Nobody wanted North Face. Yo, bro. It was the Canada Goose that was lit. Yeah. And then niggas all of that, me on all of that shit. shit, bro. Like for me, jumping off the porch was more or less like, I right, boom. I'm a nigga that had sneakers. I had certain shit. I was. I had an older brother that had me in tune. I'm watching him, yeah. so my cool was different. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm not gonna you. sit here and say. Yo, I ain't even gonna hold you. A lot of niggas that I grew up with at that time as kids, it was mad cool niggas. Mad kids that when they had the chance to buy shit and get shit, they got the right shit. Yeah. They put the shit together right. I'm not even gonna sit here and style. Some got a lot got lost and got corny as hell growing up. Like, it bugged me out. Like, I be thinking like, yo, how niggas used to know how to dress and don't know how to dress now? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like it be bugging me out when I see them and yo, shit. I, yo, I know exactly what you're saying. It be some old head fits that I just be like, yo, bro, like you come from one of the flies eras and you. Some niggas, I get it. They wasn't fly, but niggas I know that was actually fly and would give you a run for your money and getting fly. They they can't they can't do like it no more. They trying to dress not their age kind of. I feel like yo niggas just gave up on life too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for me, right? Older niggas gravitated towards me because of the way I carry myself. Um I didn't try to like put on a, a facade or a persona to make niggas like me. I just was who I was. I like what I like. You know what I mean? I was definitely good amongst the girls. My age and shit, I always had girls since I got into girls. Once I wasn't shy, it was all it was lit. I had yeah. girls. You know what I mean? And then my here's like my man I post last week, born. Like that's a nigga that I came up with in this shit. Like we knew each other in middle school. We didn't get cool until freshman year of high school. But like coming to age. I jumped off the porch before him, but he jumped off right after. But it was a crew of us that's still, like, semi-cool to this day. But me and him still, we still rock on a consistent basis. But I'm talking about all levels of this shit from one of the first niggas I ever smoked weed with to coming to school with a tape from fucking uh, Stretch Armstrong with the new underground hip-hop. To go into the mall together, to having Polo Hill figure Nordica shit, to stepping it up, to going into Neiman's and having Moschino D and G like we cross all of those barriers and levels together. You know what I mean? So older niggas would see that. Well, for me it was earlier than that. Like, like I said, yo, my brother had me at Greek Fest, Jones Beach, bro. <laughs> Summer of 93, I had on a, a, a striped white and orange Jabot shirt, short sleeve. It used to say um, the shit across the front and Jabot across the back. I'm going to put a picture up because I know them shirts are still around. Yeah. Yeah, black look- black Jabot jean shorts, white and black high top Air Force Ones, 
black leather strap. And I'm with all my cousin. I always be having her kids on my gram. Her father was driving. Nigga had a convertible three series Beamer. Oh, so I'm shit. in that shit. We listening to Tupac. I get around. Oh, I'm shit. fucking 13. These niggas got me out there. Wait, to, wait where was Brief Fest? That was at Jones Beach. Jones Beach that uh, year. They, it used to travel, be different places. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. I was nah. going Go yeah, to. I remember when I went to college down south for a year in, in Virginia. Virginia I, Beach was yeah. lit. But it's crazy because even now, niggas didn't even know what Clarks were. Yeah. I came in wearing Clarks and niggas was like, yo, what are those? Niggas? I had, a, I can't even lie. I'm not even a braggy person. But the week I moved in, I had a line out the door just niggas to see my wardrobe. I can't even, they was like, yo, what, yo, what is this shit? Yo, what's up? I, I had a, I bring a biggie with me. He was like, yo, this shit, this shit, Gore-Tac, yo. I'm like, yo, yeah, this was normal to me, but I feel like I took for granted living in New York because they all grew up in like, yo, like farms. And I don't know what, where, <laughs> but, but they never seen fly shit like that. And I'm like, yo, bro, I've been doing this since eighth grade, bro. Like, what yo, bothers me about, the internet era is everybody feel as though we were doing the same thing, yeah. right? Yeah, we had the same sneakers, but pre-internet, niggas was not dressing the same. You know what I mean? Niggas, niggas had the same sneakers. Niggas did not wear the same the sneakers the same way. You know what I mean? And now when you, when you touch on that, I always get comments like, yo, why would you think we wasn't doing this? We was doing that. We was doing the same thing y'all was doing. No. no, you weren't. You were not. And even if they were, they was rocking it different. Yeah, they was rocking it different, and a lot of places was getting on the shit when we was over it. Like, you could look at rap videos from other places, and you'll see them wearing eight ball jackets, and you look at the time frame, we wasn't doing eight ball no more. You know yeah. what I mean? It was, it, was, it, was, it was on the other things. So that's a whole nother thing. I that, feel like the problem is we trying to dress... Down, like we trying to dress like Gunner and Lil Baby and them, but we not from Atlanta or whatever. Um, yeah, I think I think it's just everybody trying to do the same thing all over. Yeah, Whatever's like when getting. Pop, well, I remember when Pop Smoke came out, everybody wanted the Mary Jeans was the shit. Like everybody wanted them shits. Yeah. Like, now look, nobody even want to wear a Mary. You wearing anymore. the Mary Jeans now, it's like yo, what are you kind of doing with yourself? Yeah, I think it all. Yeah, I think that shit all falls all falls back on. Whatever gets the most hype on the internet, that's what people is trying to do and gravitate towards. But me personally, I'm not spending a thousand dollars on jeans that look like Levi's. Nah, just for the tag. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I spent money on shit, but it was shit to stand out, and it was shit that everybody didn't have. Like you might go to the party and you might see people with some people with the brand that you have on. But you're never gonna see your your full outfit yeah. in repeat. Like my 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 question to you, I have a question that just came up. Y'all time, y'all parties, like were you getting fly to go to parties? Oh yeah. yeah. But, but were you scared like niggas was gonna take your shit or not really? Like nah. That's why, but remember you was telling me about the tunnel, how you had to come with like five people just in case. Yeah, like, well, 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 well. Like you were saying, like jersey so, stuck with jersey and then the you yeah, that was just every yeah. that was just everywhere, but that era of the tunnel that I got the experience was different. My first time at the tunnel was December 31st, 1995, New Year's Eve, right? So for me, my experience was it wasn't just violence. Like some niggas would have fights here and there. It was more or less like little shit. It wasn't like extreme extreme during that time the tunnel really got super extreme when the late 90s came because i heard security used to now they whooped to. ass i seen i seen them whip ass but like if you wasn't like i ain't have to experience none of that yeah. like niggas might plot on you if you had jewelry rolexes and shit like that i know niggas that got back down for for shit like that but um I never had the experience like, a, like a threat for a coat. Yeah. Shit, not I even feel that like jury. Came from the most legendary club scene ever. Yeah, like, and, and you, you got, got a tunnel, thing. limelight, match, probably other shit I don't even SO, know about. You know the guy Mayor with the sneakers. Yeah, he had club SOs. You know what I mean? And if you know Jay Z, 
22 twos that song on his first album yeah. and um the chick uh is talking and he rapping that was at mayor's spot like that was like a, a night where they hosted up and coming rappers so it was a lot of shit that was going on bentley's the tunnels the rink in jersey now the skate rink key. yeah skate key the rink is monumental for jersey because i right, you cross the bridge no bullshit from here where we standing at to the rink eight minutes so and then you have niggas coming from connecticut all over to go to the rink because the like it was crazy and jersey was known for having fly bitches that was yo and then jersey niggas wanted to fly new york chick yo that's how a lot of the bonds was created which made jersey and new york is cousins bro 